What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ecola Espresso and today we're back again talking about some more advanced warfare news here. What we've got today is the surprise that Sledgehammer promised us as a part of their 5 year birthday celebration entitled Hammer Week. Now this video is a bit later than I had hoped but regardless it's still really cool information that we're going to be talking about here today. So let's try and hit 60 likes on this video again here. We smashed that yesterday and almost doubled the number so let's see if we can try and keep that going. But back on track for those that don't know, Sledgehammer put out a week long schedule for their Hammer Week in celebration celebration for the studio's fifth birthday. Now on Thursday, they had something entitled Surprise, which this pretty much had the entire community 100% thinking it would be a multiplayer of some sort, either a reveal date, a tease, or even a trailer. Now to be fair, it isn't that bad of a possibility because we are so close to when multiplayer normally does drop. So yes, it would be a bit early, but it's way more plausible than when people were saying that we'd be seeing multiplayer at E3, something which has never happened and probably will never happen. However, the actual surprise had nothing to do with multiplayer in any way, shape, or form at all. Something that a lot of people were a little bit upset about, but rather it was something trivial while still being very neat in my opinion. What it was was the announcement of a contest that would allow a few lucky winners to have their gamer tag somewhere in Advanced Warfare. Now, if you guys remember, last year we saw this, as well as Infinity Ward did a little sweepstakes that allowed players to have their shot to be forever engraved in the game, but to be brutally honest, I couldn't tell you where these names were ever found, so Sledgehammer has already put more emphasis on this little sweepstakes than Infinity Ward did last year with so I'm assuming it's going to be a more relative placement where players can actually get recognized. Now, as for where you can go to enter, it's only open to a select few areas at the moment, sadly. Those places being the US, UK, Germany, and Australia. All of those areas have their own site links to go to, and I'll leave those down in the description below so that you can go check them out. Now, the only stipulation for all of this is that you have to be 18 or older in the US, UK, and Germany, and 15 or older in Australia. Each area will have four people randomly chosen, and their gamer tags submitted will be forever immortalized in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. So that's all there really is today to talk about on that topic. While it wasn't the multiplayer reveal or anything similar, that will be right around the corner with Gamescom in Germany in a few weeks. We've got a lot of time for that still, but it will come. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. Personally, I love the idea of Sledgehammer incorporating their fans even more than they already have been. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like the video, please leave a like ring down below. Any shares to your Facebook, Twitter, and or MySpace video, you like that, or is greatly appreciated. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe for the best of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare for content. Any new news information, you guys know exactly where to find it right here up on my channel. Thank you guys once again so much for watching. My name is Nicola Espresso. As always, if you guys are having a great day, I shall see you guys tomorrow. Take care and peace. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs>